can see I'm sitting on a new Iron Throne and we're going to be talking about the new update for Valheim. Now let's get started. As you can see here you've got um, new things added such as cooking utensils, you've got pots and pans, you do have your spice rack which I will show you. Where is it? Spice rack, spice rack, where are you? Oh, it was here. Yeah, well, I did have a spice rack here, I don't know where it's gone. Yeah, you have a spice rack, you also have a butcher's bench, and as you can see here you can go to this and you actually start crafting some of the new items such as the mud, uh, muck snack. You've also got your ice cream, and you've got a bunch of other ones such as black soup, you've also got boar jerky, wolf jerky, wolf skewer, and deer stew. And you've also got onion soup, and a couple of other bits and pieces that involve onion. I think this is one here called deer stew. Um, you've also got mint stew as well. Um, as you can see here, these are the other jerkies and stews. So this all adds on to that one. I don't know why I can't place the spice rack. It was here, I think it might have glitched. You've also got an extension to your cooking station, so you got an iron cook, which requires iron and three chains and a forge, which I had put away. You've also got a oven. Stone oven that opens and closes as you enter it. I had did put a pie in here, but sadly my pie turned to coal. Um, you can add wood at the bottom and it closes automatically. This one we'll talk about in a minute. This is one's I'm not too sure the purpose, but it hurts. Um, you've also got crystal glass. Which if I can go here. Here it is. So it's called crystal wall. Requires two crystal to a place. It doesn't stack. You just place it long ways. I'm assuming, as you can see, I play with it here. Use it as a window, so not overly great. You've also got a new dark wood archway and poles and support beams and also dark wood gates which look so 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 very nice so very nice you've also got new ceiling i'll just give one each one of these requires iron or requires from here tar um, i don't know how to get tar as of yet but if i find out i had it at the end of this video you can see you got a wolf head and a raven. You've also got a new stacking for such things as coal, fine wood, and core wood. You've also got parts to gates now. So you can actually build proper gate walls, and you've got lots of little pieces such as one blocks and whatnot. Um, sadly, they haven't added anything new to the stone. I wish they did. The stone's still the same, but it seems to be they're adding more wood items. So you can see these are all the new wood items. You got um, your beams, so your angle beams, they've added core wood pieces, they've also added a back piece, uh, what's it called? It's called a inverted wooden wall, so that's a new one they've added, but otherwise everything else is pretty much the same. Um, they do have like a small little shutter, so I'm assuming the shutter goes to this. Requires iron. Yeah, bronze nails, sorry, bronze nails, which I think is a bit much for just that. We've also got these nice little pattern carved wooden divider, which look really nice. And yeah, I kind of stack that on that. It's pretty cool. Um, so crafting wise, they do have a hot tub. It was here, but it's not here anymore. So you see there's a new hot tub. You just add wood at the back. And then you to sit in the hot tub and rest. It's quite nice. You've also got this uh, cartography table. So what you can do is you record your discoveries here and then you can actually share that. I don't really know how it works because it won't let me share anything because it is a new map that I've tested this stuff on. So I don't want to corrupt any of my actual maps. You've also got a black metal chest which is really nice. I love the size of it. Um, if I can go to it here, so it requires 10 wood, 2 tar, black metal. Ah, oh, here's a hot tub. There you go. And, I'll, and here is the stone throne. 
So as you can see, it requires stone cone table, 20 stone, 2 deer hide, and wolf pelt. Super cheap, super nice. Uh, they haven't added anything new in the way of this area other than the long table you see here, and you've also got the round table. Uh, they have added this sitting log, which I have placed, and they've also changed the picture for the hanging brazier. I don't know why, but they have. They've also added um, new banner colours, so you've also got white and blue. You've also got red and white and blue, which looks a bit weird. Um, but other than that, they're all, all the same. Pelt-wise, all the pelts are the same. Uh, they've also added a dark wood chair, which requires four fine wood, one tar, five iron nails, and one deer hide. No new beds, but here's that new chair over here. And these are the new tables. Gold. Hang on, where is it? Gold. There it is. So gold, you got gold coin stack 900. Gold coins 100. This is a gold box. I don't know why it's doing this. It's been a pain. Um, so that, as you can see, requires two, five rubies, two silver, fine wood, and a silver necklace. I'll get rid of that coal. I want a silver necklace to hold. Where did it go? This is annoying. There you go, silver necklace, treasure chest. So, it, um, I don't know why, but it's been a little bit buggy on my end, this part. Um, so yeah, these are the, all the new items. Now I want to play with this. So this here is a, a laboratory. I'm not too sure how it works, other than the fact that you can just chuck these things in here. Thunderstones. So we'll read the category for Thunderstones. If it pops up again. So this is a crack, crackling with energy. I'm not too sure what it does, uh, but I can tell you what you require to craft it. So you need eight iron, four copper, and one thunderstone per one. I'm not sure how you obtain the thunderstones. I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you, but I'm not too sure. Um, and you can pull this lever, and then I'm going to run away. So it conducts a little storm. You can hear that little thunder, and it strikes itself with a little shock of lightning. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. I'm not too sure if you can put a bunch of other items in here to actually energize it, but you can see it gives you the option to craft stuff. So I'm assuming that's a new item base thing that they're going to be adding, or that they have added, but we'll find out a little bit later. And something that I really, really do like is they've actually added the luck saddle. So you can craft a saddle and ride a mount, and you can also name him. So you can see here, L. Uh, shift E rename. You can see he's quite hungry. I need to the pet him, but he has to kind of get the sounds a bit weird. So to either stand on an angle or kind of jump up to him. So controls are pretty much straightforward. You cannot hit with right click or left click. I don't know if you can actually hit. You can either dismount. He seems to want to do his own thing. So sprinting is obviously shift. He does not jump. I just tried it then. Um, you can see your stamina. Ooh. Okay. So he aggressively attacked that for me, but I can't actually tell him to attack. Um, but yeah, otherwise that's pretty pretty cool. I actually just love the fact that they've added this one mount. I've checked they don't have any other mounts. I would love to ride a uh, Drake. That'd be pretty cool, but this this will do. I'm happy with this. All right, guys. So I fiddled around a bit. So there's a splash rack, and this is the new um, effect that the portal has now, as you can see here. It's like a it, so it's going in. See, so like a little suction. It's kind of cool. Um, splash rack looks like this. Splash rack is quite cheap to craft. Not too bad. Alright, we're going through this and what did I do? Go through this and we'll check out the Ashlands if there's anything new to the game. 
you can pick up tar. Just as easy as that. The pits here, the mobs are quite easy. You can break these bones here. Get yourself more bone fragments. Um, pretty sure they say stuff like this, like it's stuck in the tar. I'm not too sure how you can fix that other than probably trying to lift. I, other than trying to lift the ground, other than trying to lift the ground, so we'll try and use the hoe. And you also got a new item called the butcher's knife. So we'll try and lift the ground. No, it doesn't really make a difference. The thing pops up and down. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. So yeah, that's where you get your tar from. Picking it up. And the mob that grow spawns in here are called the growth. Um, if you do if you get hit by them, they do do a lot of pushback. Like a whole lot of pushback. This is a bit disappointing guys. So I'm in the Mistlands. This is a new freshly made server. Nothing. Nothing at all. Well I did find I did nothing entirely, I did find myself an ancient route. So, something at least. Ooh, it takes some damage to this thing, doesn't it? But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing new. This axe, though, is kind of cool. It's like a little beacon running around. But it does drain your stam. But yeah, there's nothing new added to the Mistlands, guys. Sad. No. Alright guys, I'm in the Ashlands. Nothing looks different other than the ground. It just looks more ashy than anything. We're just going to hit the ground a couple times to see what happens. Yeah. Nothing really new. Uh, the mobs are still here. And the ore still here. So I'm assuming they haven't really added anything to the Ashlands, so that's kind of disappointing. Uh, Recap, so I didn't actually see the patch notes when the update came through on mine, so after I finished playing and started to look at the recordings, I was able to see that they actually did put patch notes up, so I'm going to go through them real quick, so they, as you can see, I've already gone through all the new stuff, like the, I haven't gone through the new uh, blocking system working balance yet, um, I have, did mention uh, naming tame creatures, um, gamepad, sensitivity, I didn't even notice it, Auto pickup, I thought that was already there. Graphic settings, I haven't tried that yet. Tank creatures by uh, creatures affected by a friendly fire. You cannot hurt a tank creature unless you enable friendly fire. So I did see that, that is actually added to the um, hub on your character. So you also can see, you know, you see your skill tree. They've added the trophies and stuff like that. Um, and you, it's literally just two swords. You just click it, that's it. Um, other improvements and bug fixes. Where are they? Um, food. So, over 10 new items to eat. Actually, 12. Well, I think I went through the means I could actually find. Um, let's see. World Tame Larks is now open. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty good. Slimy locations. That's the plains. That's those weird creatures. New plantable seeds, so you can plant oak and onions and rich. Lovely. New weapons, crystal battle axe, which is cool. It glows at night. I love it. Silver knife. New shield. Yep. Which is knife, thunderstone. I did not know this, but you can actually get it from the trader. I didn't know. I, I literally just got a new map and then went to uh, build a mode basically, just build everything and figure out from there. I don't want to corrupt any of my old servers because it's not worth it. So you got the Lux accessories. I don't, I don't know what that means. I, I didn't see any. Um, and obviously all the new building types here, which is kind of a bit silly that this is the only operation for this item is to destroy items. Like, if I wanted to destroy an item, why can't I just throw it in the fire? Why not just add that? Why do I have to have an item that just blows it up in like a nuke situation? So you have to go through a trader 
to get the Thunderstone to then blow up the item. Defeats the purpose, then. Uh, new Lion Cooking Station, which looks pretty cool, but yeah, if you can leave a like, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Alright, see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.